Hello and welcome to another episode of RC Printer. I'm your host Jordan Visco and today we're spending some time catching up with this guy right here which is the RC Tank by Designer Stained. And we built this one a couple of months ago actually and we're hoping to get it out in the snow but as you can see there is no snow anymore. In the last week all the snow has just uh, left us here in uh, the beautiful Shushwap Valley. And we did actually get it out into the snow a while ago, but we had some issues with it and I wasn't able to uh, kind of complete a full video. Let me just flip the camera around here. So originally when we put this track together, the screws that we ordered didn't come. So we ended up using cotter pins. And the cotter pins were a little bit thinner than these screws. And what that ended up causing was these track pieces were a little bit too far apart. And so on each side of the track, I was actually missing three pieces. And when these track pieces move slightly further apart, what actually happens is these little teeth here start to catch where they enter these rollers and I was having a lot of binding and it was one of the main reasons that the motors that we have were getting super hot. So now I've put the track together properly with all these screws and um, I'm getting a lot less binding. I'm still missing one piece out of each side and I'm not sure if that's normal or not but um, the track pieces are a lot closer together. I think maybe if I reprinted all these track pieces again and uh, put the the screws in properly the first time and made sure that uh, my print settings were perfect I might be able to squeeze that extra track piece in here and the track pieces might be just a tiny little bit closer together. It's pretty good right now definitely a lot better than it was. Now talking about the motors we've used two 540 motors here and these are 27 turn brushed motors. Brushed is always going to get a little bit hotter than your their brushless counterpart but they're not actually the motors that the designer recommended when the designer designed this he originally used some 980 kV 2212 motors, um, but he did create uh, brackets so that these 540 motors would fit as well, and that's what I had, so I used them. But they are getting extremely hot, and one thing you can do if your motors get hot is uh, switch to a smaller pinion, but I'm already using a pinion with 11 teeth, and it's pretty hard to find ones that are smaller than that. So I have ordered some of those uh, 2212 motors, and we'll install them next if these guys uh, don't make it. But for now we're going to run these. Uh, it is really fast and super fun to do, but it's at the top end for sure of what these guys can handle. Uh, I do have this little uh, temperature gauge here, so we'll run them for a little bit, see how hot we get them, and then we can check the temperature. If it's kind of in that 150, 160 range, we're going to be okay. It starts getting closer to 200, then we're going to have issues and we might melt something. And uh, hopefully we don't have a fire, but I did bring out this little fire extinguisher just in case. So the last thing we've had an issue with is just keeping the track tight and you can see there's these little sliders here that are attached to this last wheel. And you tighten these up uh, while pulling this last slider out and it's supposed to keep the track you know, somewhat tight. Uh, that's not too bad right there, I've just tightened it. But what I find is that because this is a PLA piece just rubbing on this PLA piece, um, there's not enough tension to kind of hold it in place and so it does slowly slip back this becomes a little more floppy so I don't think there's too much we can do about that unfortunately um, we could use some Loctite on these screws but it's not actually the screws coming loose that's the problem it's these two pieces sliding against each other and if there were some little teeth built into these PLA parts here that would help a lot but there isn't so uh, we're gonna run with what we got it doesn't seem to affect it too much when the track becomes loose uh, which is nice, nice as well. And so the last thing we want to talk about before we get it out there is just the controller. We have it set up with this guy right here, which is a dual stick controller for uh, like an airplane. 
Honestly, I'd rather have it uh, on a pistol grip controller, which is what pretty much all my RC cars run on. So I might switch that at some point if I can get this thing to be just a little bit more reliable. The way you set the mix up for these is that you have one motor on the up and down channel and you have the second motor on the left and right channel, which for me are channel one and channel two. And then you tie channel two to channel one um, so that when you press forward, both of the motors go forward and then you tie channel one to channel two in reverse so that when you turn to the right one motor goes forward and the other motor goes backwards and then the opposite uh, when you go left here so this thing is completely controlled by this one joystick here all right let's go do some bashing um, i've got the cover off here and i'm just going to leave it off for now so we can quickly test the temperature of the motor and uh, shut things down if it gets too hot i did actually see some smoking at one point uh, when I was running around inside. So I'm a little worried we're gonna have a fire, but uh, we'll see how she goes. You can see it's really hard to control but it does go like snot it would be really cool if i could uh, 3d print some little tpu pads and glue those to each of the track pieces and i think that might give it a little bit more grip but let's take it onto the grass and see how we do over there So I think the motors are probably getting a little hot. It just seems a lot less responsive than it was originally. But uh, let's just touch them here. Oh, they're pretty hot. Let's get them a little hotter. Definitely need to get it hooked up to a pistol grip controller. It's just, uh, it'd be way more fun to drive. So there we go, it's, uh, oh, we can see a little bit of smoke in. Shut her down, shut her down. All right, so the smoke is gone. Oh, you can see a little bit there. Let's go check the temperature. All right. Oh yeah, so we're, we're over 200 on that guy. Not so bad on this one, but uh, this guy is 215. She's, that's way too hot. 222, 223. That heat from the inside is making its way to the outside. So there you go. I think we can definitely say that these 27T motors are just too fast for a model like this. We need something with a bit more torque 
35T might work, but I would recommend trying something even higher if you're gonna go for a 540 motor for one of these RC speed tanks. But within the next couple weeks, we'll have those new 2212 motors and we'll throw them in there and hopefully that uh, fixes all our problems. So until next time, remember if you're looking for cool ideas of 3D printed projects to build, kits, parts, or instructions on how to build them, check us out, rcprinter.com.